Okay, in this problem, the question asks you to find the sample size. How large of a sample should you take? And it gives you that you want a 95% confidence interval. And so, with 95% confidence, that means Z is going to equal 1.96. Tells you that you have a margin of error of 25. And an estimate, that's all that hat means. You really don't even have to put it there, but I do. That's an estimate of the population standard deviation is 400. So in the sample size problems, let's first of all recall that we have a, in the end, we want to make a 95% confidence interval. And this is the formula for the confidence interval. The statistic x bar plus or minus the confidence coefficient z times the standard error. Well, this right-hand side is the margin of error. So we'll just say margin of error equals to the right-hand side, the z sigma divided by the square root of n. So when you want to do a sample size problem, if you get the right-hand side of the confidence interval formula, you can set that equal to the margin of error, because that's what it is, margin of error. So now I'm just plugging into the, this equation. The margin of error is 25. 1.96 is our z value. Estimate of the stand, standard deviation is 400. And so I have that. The only thing that I don't have is n, which is what I want to obtain in the problem. So I'm going to take this equation and just solve for n. So just do a little basic algebra there. And that's what you should end up with. If it takes you a couple more steps than that, go ahead and take them. But that's what you ought to end up with. And at the end here, I had 90, at 983.45. You always round up on the sample size problems because this is the minimum. And of course, you can't have just 900. It, you can't have a fractional number of people. So if this is the minimum, you're always going to round up to the next highest value. Okay, so now in the second problem here, again, it's a problem asking for sample size. This time it says that we have a margin of error of 0 0.04, and that we want to do a 90% confidence interval, so we'll get z is equal to 1.65. In this problem, we're trying to estimate, or ultimately we want to estimate, a population proportion. And so that confidence interval is p hat plus or minus z times the square root of p hat q hat over n. So again, as we did in the last one, margin of error is equal to the right-hand side of the confidence interval formula. And again, we have MOE, that's given. We have a z value, which we can get from the level of confidence. Now, in the p hat q hat over n, if there were a pilot study or some previous knowledge that you know what, uh, you have some idea of where p hat might go, then you plug that number in for p hat, and then 1 minus that for q hat. In this particular problem, we don't have a pilot study. In that case, you'll always get the the most conservative sample size, if you will put 0.5 in for both P and Q. So I've got the N 1.645. Wait, let me back up here. I need to put that one in first. So I had 0.04, that was my margin of error equals 1.645, that goes with the 90% confidence, and then I use 0.5 for P, because I don't have a pilot study, and then 1 minus that, which in this case is also 0.5, and then I'm going to solve for N. One thing I'll say on the algebra is make sure, the first thing you ought to do in this, I, I believe, is just square everything, which would be, then we have uh, 0 0.04, squared is equal to 1.645 squared. 
and then just 0 0.5, 0 0.5 over n. So when you're square, when you're squaring this part, just take the square root sign away. And so, in the end, this is what you ought to end up with. I'm just down here again, just reminding you that we're always going to round that up. So if I had 422.8, I'm going to round that up to 423. Okay, that'll be it for this one.